Hello friends, welcome back to Learn with Lakshman. In the last video, we have seen the clause elements, that is the parts of a sentence. The parts of the sentence are S, V, O, C, A. In this video, we'll see the basic clause types. Basic clause types are the types of sentences. That means we're going to see how many possible combinations are there in English of S, V, O, C, A. And these are called basic clause types or the types of the sentences. It is commonly believed that there are seven basic clause types. But in this video, we'll talk about nine basic clause types. Let us try to understand these nine basic clause types first. These nine basic clause types are SV, SVO, SVC, SV. A, S V O C, S V O O, S V O A, S V O C A, and S V O O A. These are the acceptable possible combinations of S V O C A, that is, subject, verb, object, complement, and adverbial in English. Let's try to understand each of these in detail. Let's begin with the first and the shortest one, that is yes, V. Yes, V is subject plus verb. A sentence formed with the help of a subject and a verb is S, V. Have a look at these examples. Birds fly. He has been writing. They are moving. Look at these examples also. One of the birds from the cage is flying. The person whom I talked yesterday has been writing. The people from that village are moving. There is only one subject and a verb in all above examples. I would suggest you to prepare at least 25 sentences using this form, that is, subject and verb combination. Let us move on to the next basic clause type, that is, yes, V, O, that is, subject plus verb plus object. The function of a subject and that of an object can be performed only by the nominals, that is, either by a noun, a pronoun, a noun phrase, or a noun clause. We can have a sentence containing a subject, verb, and object. It is the most common pattern in English. Let us see a few of the examples. She has been writing the letters. The people have been writing the letters. They are telling the stories. The people are telling the stories. One of them will be going home. Ravi has taken a book. All these sentences follow the pattern subject plus verb plus object, that is SVO in short. Let us look at these examples too. Meena told that she was writing. That Meena was writing was not the truth. In both these sentences, that she was writing and that Meena was writing are the finite noun clauses and they function as the object and subject of these two sentences respectively. Let's move on to the next basic clause type or the next pattern of sentence that is SVC. SVC is subject plus verb plus complement. A noun phrase or an adjective phrase can function as the complement in the sentence. They can either function as the subject complement or the object complement in the sentence. Have a look at these sentences and try to understand the pattern subject, verb and complement. Priya is a nice girl. In this sentence, Priya is equal to nice girl. She is 
very famous. In this sentence, she equals to very famous. In the sentence, Mira looks attractive. Mira is attractive. In the sentence, there are boys. They refers to boys. And in the sentence, I am feeling happy. Happy is used for I. Therefore, all these are the compliments. Now, look at these sentences. Anita was a clerk. In the sentence, Anita was a clerk. Anita is a noun. Was is a verb. And a clerk is the complement. It is a noun phrase functioning as the complement. Similarly, in the sentence, one bird seems unhappy. One bird is the subject and it is a noun phrase. Seems is a verb and it is a verb phrase. And happy is an adjective. It functions as the complement in this sentence. Now, let's try to understand the fourth basic clause type. That is fourth type of sentence, that is SVA, which means subject plus verb plus adverbial. Remember, an adverb phrase or prepositional phrase can function as adverbial in the sentence. Similarly, a noun phrase can also function as the adverbial in the sentence. Have a look at a few examples first. Usha runs very fast. She has been living in Kochi. They were walking slowly. One of them will be going tomorrow. Ganga loves unconditionally. These examples, very fast, in Kochi, slowly, tomorrow, and unconditionally are the examples of adverbials. Adverbial is the part of the sentence that gives additional information about the verb. Let's have a look at these sentences also. The first sentence is, I cannot run fast. In the sentence, I cannot run fast, I is a pronoun and it is functioning as the subject. Cannot run is a verb phrase and it is functioning as the verb, while very fast is an adverb phrase and it is functioning as the adjunct or adverbial of this sentence. In the second sentence, one bird flew through window. One bird is a noun phrase and it is functioning as the subject. While flew is the verb phrase and it is functioning as the verb and through window is a prepositional phrase and it is functioning as the adverbial or adjunct of this sentence. While in the last sentence, the man has worked very seriously. The man is a noun phrase and functioning as the subject. Has worked is a verb phrase and functioning as the verb and very seriously is an adverb phrase and is functioning as adjunct in this sentence. Part of the sentence that describes the action or the verb is called adverb. Sometimes it adds to the meaning of the whole sentence. Adverbs are the words that describe the action and not the subject or the object of the sentence. Friends, it is very easy to identify subject and verb in the sentence because subject appears at the beginning of the sentence and it is often followed by a verb or a verb phrase. The verb in a sentence can be followed by object complement or an adverbial or the adjunct. It becomes a problem for us to identify which of these is an object, which of these is a complement and which of these is an adverbial. Let us try to understand what is an object, what is the complement and what is an adverbial or an adjunct in the sentence. Let's read these sentences. The man played the game. The man played in the park. The man played yesterday. The man was very kind. The man looks dangerous. In all these sentences, there are only three clause elements. The first is subject. The second is verb. And the third is either an object, complement or an adverbial. Can you identify which of these is the object, which of these is the complement and which one is the adverbial or the adjunct? Look at the first sentence in this list. The man played the game. In the sentence, the man plays the game, the man is the subject and played is the verb. Now, verb is followed by the game. The game is an object because the action of playing shifts from man to the game. The simplest way to understand whether a particular part of the sentence that follows the verb is an object complement or an adverbial is to ask a question to the verb. If you ask the question who to the verb, the answer you get is the subject. For instance, 
who played the man played similarly if you ask a question what to the verb the answer is an object what did the man play the man played the game therefore the structure of the first sentence that is the man played the game becomes subject verb and object now let us move on to the second sentence the second sentence is the man played in the park now if you ask a question to the verb played who the answer becomes the man therefore the man is the subject but if you ask a question what to the verb played you don't get an answer that means the part that follows the verb in this sentence is not an object it must be something else it must be either a complement or an adverbial now let us try to understand the difference between adverbial and the complement adverbial or adjunct is something that gives additional information about the verb not about the subject okay so if you ask the questions like when where how to the verb the answer you get is an adverbial look at the second sentence in this list the man played in the park if you ask the question where to the verb played you get the answer in the park that means in the park is an adverbial or an adjunct similarly in the third sentence that is the man played yesterday you ask a question when to the verb and the answer is yesterday that is that means that is also a adverb or an adverbial thus the structure of the second sentence in the list that is the man played in the park is subject verb and adverbial or the adjunct and also the structure of the third sentence the man played yesterday is subject verb and adverbial now let us try to understand what is the complement complement is something that speaks about either the subject or the object that means complement speaks about the nominal parts in the sentence nouns pronouns or the noun phrases look at the fourth sentence the man was very kind in the sentence the man was very kind the man is the subject was is the verb and very kind is a complement because very kind speaks about the man and not about the verb therefore it becomes a complement now look at the last sentence in the list the man looks dangerous in the sentence the man looks dangerous it is obvious that the man is the subject and looks as the verb in this sentence the part that follows the verb that is dangerous does not receive the action from the subject therefore it is not an object it is neither something that gives additional information about the verb therefore it is also not an adjunct or the adverbial then what does it do it connects back to the subject the man how is the man the man is dangerous that means the man looks dangerous looks here is a linking verb that links the complement to the subject therefore the structure of this sentence is also subject verb and the complement these are the four basic clause types we have studied so far i don't want this to be a very long video so i'm going to stop here i'm going to give you an exercise to identify the clause elements in the given examples and write their answers in the comment box the examples are she is beautiful number two the dog chased the cat number three they are children number four she has run very fast and number five mary married in the church try to identify and write the patterns of these sentences in the comment box in the next video we'll talk about the remaining patterns of the sentences that is remaining basic clause types if you have liked this video please like share and subscribe to the channel if you have not done it yet thank you very much for watching this video